Hey everyone, it's Anna here at Canterbury Farms Nursery, and we're going to do things a little bit different today. I'm just going to walk around um, the front of our nursery here because I wanted to highlight uh, today some of our native plants. Uh, we've got a good variety usually of native plants around. Here we've got sea grapes and uh, dwarf Walter's viburnum, and I wanted to uh, show you all a little bit of a preview what we've got going on up here. We are redoing one of our blocks up in the front of the nursery here to um, put all of our native plants in one section so they're easy to find and easy to locate anybody uh, can know what's a Florida native what's uh, what's not so right now everything's a little bit scattered so I'm gonna kind of walk around a little bit um, here we've got our uh, Fakahatchee grass which is uh, a great uh, texture piece and um, up here we're gonna have to be moving some stuff around we've got Indian hawthorn but uh, we do have um, a bunch of really nice looking uh, dwarf yopon holly ilex shillings um, as uh, we sometimes like to call it so got a bunch of those coming on up and I'm gonna walk up to the uh, front here looking at a few other things and um, we've got a bunch of different varieties of ligustrum not native but uh, it is um, nice looking, lots of different colors. Laura Petalum and Gold Mound, again, not native, but uh, we have it here looking good. Thought I'd show it to you since we're passing by. And um, coming up here to some more of the grasses. There's a bunch of native grasses that look great. Um, the dwarf Fakahatchee grass, I know they all tend to kind of look the same, but uh, Dwarf Fakahatchee grass, muley grass is just about starting. You can kind of see some of the blooms um, just starting to pop out on the muley grass, but uh, give it another month and it'll be looking fabulous. I'll definitely be showing, showing that on some videos here. And then I wanted to walk through, we're walking through some flowers here and show you some of the uh, dwarf firebush. We have a lot of that going on. That's a great pollinator friendly plant. Um, and the hummingbirds love it as well. And um, well, I kind of missed it. I skipped over the uh, silver buttonwood. Sorry about that. We have a bit of that around. We don't usually have a lot of that in stock because here in Hudson um, it's not super cold hardy. So uh, it's one that we would have to protect in the winter so we um, pretty much just have that on special order uh, but we did get in some um, some more natives some smaller ones coming on up here and I'll show you these on the trailers we have a bunch of blanket flower which is a really nice perennial uh, fl flower that uh, you can use for bedding and borders um, and it's native so this is the blanket flower or gayardia it's called um have some tick seed some beach sunflower it's not blooming at the moment some of the tropical salvia also coral honeysuckle carolina jessamine railroad vine some of the scarlet hibiscus um, we also have some uh, Virginia sweet spire or Virginia willow, it's called. So a pretty good selection of native plants. Also, don't forget some of the great native trees, such as the oaks and maples and sycamores, red cedars on special right now, and um, also our bald cypress and slash pines. So thanks for watching. If you need anything, give us a call, 727-857-0242.